Hello everyone, Spicy Gecko here. Uh, today we're going to be working on part two of this Every Pokemon in Great League tier list video. And today we're going to be doing uh, Hoenn and Sinnoh Pokemon. Um, Unova is pretty large, so I was trying to think about where I should put them. Uh, I decided I'm going to lump them with Kalos and Galar for part three. Because Kalos and Galar are pretty small. So first of all, Trico. Uh, I love him, but he's too small. Gravile is also a pretty cool guy, but he is just worse Sceptile. Now, I guess I should also say before I like, really get started that someone pointed out to me that Oddish was too high and after looking at the Sims on PV Poke, I have to agree. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Definitely down to extremely spicy. Um, yeah, really high. Like I said. Anyway, Sceptile himself. Um, he is really underrated. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because he's my favorite Pokemon, of course. I think that having Leaf Blade and Earthquake are really good coverage options. Plus bullet seed spam, you know, makes it so he can reach his charge moves really quickly. And he also doesn't need a legacy move, which doesn't really help his ranking, but it's a nice bonus. Um, his pro probably his only flaw is that he gets walled by flyers, which Sift Tree doesn't. So I guess that's a win for Shift Tree. But Sceptile is still really good. Hits a lot of things really hard. I would absolutely recommend using him. Alright, Mega Sceptile, not in the game yet. Torchic is too small. Combuskin. Combuskin is unfortunately just kind of bad. Uh, awful charge moves and fast moves. You know, if, if you have to choose between Peck and Rock Smash, you're kind of fucked. Blaziken has a pretty interesting moveset. You know, counter and a fighting type is always pretty good. And Blaze Kick, Blast Burn, Stone Edge are all amazing choices. So, Blaziken. Oh, yeah, Brave, Bla Brave Bird, too. I forgot about Brave Bird. Blaziken gets to be up right next to his buddy Sceptile. Uh, Mega Blaziken's not in the game. Mudkip is too small, so it's obviously horrible. Marsh Stomp. Here's the thing Marsh Stomp on its own is actually pretty good. The problem is that it is just worst. It is just worst uh, Swamper in literally every way. Uh, I guess Sludge is kind of faster than Sludge Wave, which is an advantage, I guess, but. Everything else Swamper can do, like Hydro Cannon, just makes it that much better. Uh, you know, really, sp Swamper is definitely meta. Not hard to see why. Um, very good defensive typing. Water and ground is always really good. Mud Shot is really fast and spammy. Hydro Cannon and Earthquake are two amazing moves. Um, <laughs> yeah, the only issue with Swamper, uh, yeah, kind of same issue has with Sceptiles. It gets walled by Flyers. Well, some of them, Swampert gets walled by Octaria, I think, but can fight back in Skarmory. Um, it depends. But yeah, Swampert is absolutely a great Pokemon. Probably the best Mud Boy in all of Great League, I guess. Mightyana has, uh, you know, if Mightyana kept Snarl like Poochan did, it would probably be, like, actually a pretty fun pick. But I'm going to put an extremely spicy. Doesn't have very good moves. It's fast moves and charge moves don't really go together all that well because it just has fangs and bite. And the fang moves, I honestly don't care for fang moves unless they're the same type of attack bonus or something. They never seem worth it. I feel like Zigzagoon and Galarian Zigzagoon would be fun choices in a uh, little cup if they had actually good fast moves. Now, Lanoon is uh, actually a pretty interesting choice. I'm going to put it in spicy because it's not quite meta. Um, it's not even meta enough for the kind of meta tier. Just because Lanoon... Actually, maybe... Yeah, Marshall should be kind of meta. I still see it right now and then. But Lanoon um, has really good moves. It is Shadow Claw, Thunder, and Grass Knot. That lets it be a pretty good core breaker. I think its only problem is that it's not very... Um, it's not very frail, um, bulky I mean, it kind of loses a lot of other normal types and fighting types pretty hard, and it kind of just got outclassed by Lickitung, but 
It does have the better fast move, so there's always that. I think Galarian Lanoon is definitely in the spicy t tier. It gets destroyed by fighters, but it does have a much better matchup against ghosts, even. It's very spammy. Snarl and Body Slam is an amazing combination. Now, these two go out here. Beautifly has... Like, all this Beautifly's moves are just dog shit. It goes in bad. There are basically no redeeming factors to Beautifly. Cast can get stuck down here. But Dustox, I think, is definitely the best member of the Wormwolf family. It's just gonna go in regular old spicy. Just because it has Confusion and Sludge Bomb and Bug Buzz. And those are all three okay moves. Confusion is... Confusion is a great fast move, I would say. It's kind of like a better Venomoth overall. Um, and it's actually quite bulky. The only problem, of course, is that it's not very accessible. I mean, actually, it's kind of a lie. Wormbull is accessible, but I guess just perfectionist in me, thinking that I want a Hundo Dustox because I feel like if I get, you know, if I get a Hundo Cascoon or an almost Hundo Cascoon, I build it. I'm gonna get a Hundo Cascoon later, I guess. That's not really Dustox's fault. Dustox is pretty cool. Alright, low dead, too small. Even if XLs, it barely hits like 500 CP, which is sad. Lombre! Fucking don't mean to put him down here, I need to scroll up. Lombre is, uh, extremely spicy. It does, it is a pretty decent Great League Core Breaker, the only problem is, guess who does that job a way friggin' better? That's right, Ludicolo! Yeah, he's got Bubble, which was sadly nerfed a while back, but it's still an okay option. Um, Ice Beam and Razor, uh, Leaf, Leaf Storm, yeah, Leaf Storm, that's it. Um, or Leaf Tornado. I can barely remember, I, I don't remember which is which half the time, because they both sound so similar. But anyway, Ludicolo is probably the most slept on Pokemon that's spicy, um, possibly in this entire group so far. This because it is a fantastic Metacore Breaker. It has acceptable bulk, like Swampert level bulk. Uh, Nuzleaf is a poor Razor Leaf we're gonna put in Extremely Spicy. That we can go Faint Attack, which is just even worse probably. Shift Tree. I want to say this bad boy is probably kinda meta. I don't see Shift Tree very often, but I have seen it. It is pretty good. No one's gonna doubt that it does not mesh well with meta. It's probably the best razor, not razor, but probably the best leaf blader. You know, that bullet scene leaf blade combo. Hurts to say it, you all know why, but um, yeah, I think Shishri has generally better in some situations, like it beats flyers, but I think Sceptile has some more interesting wins, like against Deox Defense. Um, but yeah, Shift Tree is a more meta one. Uh, Swello is kinda just a worse Pidgeot. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it in Spicy. I mean, it's like one of those Pokemon that is technically alright, you know? But there's already a Pokemon that exists that does its job way better, so there's pretty much no reason to use Swello ever. Alright, Wingo Wingall is too small. Pelipper... I'm gonna put in kinda meta. Uh, I don't really know if I should put in kinda meta or meta. I kind of have a gut feeling that, you know, it's meta. Uh, weather Ball spam is all the way. Most Weather Ballers are meta unless they're really small, like Ball Fix. Ralston Curlia. Curlia is way too small, has mediocre charge moves, just kinda of stuck down here. Gardevoir is like an average Shadow Charmer. It's pretty frail, but does a lot of damage, so it goes spicy, I'd say. Is it even meta? It's not meta. I think it's too frail compared to the rest of Charmers. Mega Guard is not in the game. Serious gets too small, of course. Masquerade? Uh, Masquerade has Lunge, and Lunge is a pretty fun move. The only problem is most other moves kind of suck ass, so it's gonna go in spicy. Actually, it's a bit too generous. Extremely spicy. It's more like it. Uh, Shroomish? Sad to say, Shroomish is too small, but it does look pretty interesting with little cup stuff because it's got pretty good bulk for the tier. Breloom, I want to say, is definitely spicy. You know, Counter is pretty good. 
You know, I know it had a grass on it, but I'm pretty sure Broluma actually wants Seed Bomb because it comes out faster. Uh, I don't know, I haven't spent a lot of time analyzing Broluma. I believe Chestnut is just straight up better these days. Uh, Vigoroth, no doubt about it. I don't even think it's, I think it's like actually part of the meta, it's like a safe swap. I've seen it be used quite a bit. And yeah, it's got Counter plus Body Slam, which is an amazing combination for a normal type. And I believe this is technically the strongest Pokemon to be put in Horrible, just by, based off pure stats, but yeah, kinda sucks as of Yawn. And Kata is too small. Ninjask has uh, like Fury Cutter and Shadow Ball or something. It gets being extremely spicy. Uh, <laughs> Shedinja, I don't think it's Babel in Great League. These two are really small, just dog shit. Exploud just has Bite. That's fast enough, I think it's Bible or Astonish. That has a couple interesting options. It can be not very good. I would not use Exploud. I think what Exploud is, is like, there are normal types do the whole anti ghost thing way better than Exploud ever does. Hariyama. I want to say this goes in spicy because it's kind of like a worse Machamp. Uh, I mean, it has heavy slam and superpower or close combat, and that's a pretty decent moveset. It's just not really part of the meta in any way. I don't think it's close off the kind of meta, so it's just going to go down here. Azuril is way too small. Nose Pass, I think, can go in extremely spicy. It is very uh, bulky. It has okay moves too. Kind of like Onyx, actually. Yeah, it's pretty much Hoenn Onyx. Too small. Delcaddy is a charmer, a normal type charmer. And it's kind of like all other average charmers that aren't actually fairy type. And uh, it gets to being extremely spicy. I think it. The thing about it is that being charm, being a charmer, means you would think you would do well against fighting types, but it actually doesn't because it takes super effective damage from counter, which, you know, most fighting types use counter a lot, and the few that don't probably take neutral from charm, so overall I, I don't know. Okay, it's not that good. Sable, on the other hand, is absolutely meta. Is it core meta? I don't know. I would, uh, I would say that Sebelai is, actually probably is core meta, yeah. Um, actually no, no it's not. It's a great safe swap. Uh, everyone knows that. It's part of that famous Bastiodon, Medi, Sebelai team with Return and Shadow Claw. Actually, is it Sebelai or Sableye? You guys let me know. I, uh, I have no idea actually, anymore. Mawile, oh spicy. I've seen this thing work, putting some damage, especially Shadow, but yeah, it's not part of the meta at all. That'd be silly. And we're on, unfortunately, we're gonna put him in bad because he's body slam, but pretty good defensive typing for Great League. So he gets to be in bad and not horrible. Uh, same story for Laron is pretty much the same moves and same stats. And Aggron is just a worse Bastiodon, but Bastiodon is really, really good. So, and Aggron is pretty much the same moveset. Shadow, Aggron does a lot of damage with Smackdown. So we're gonna put in Spicy. I think Aggron definitely has potential in Grey League. It just, you know, only really shows up when Bastiodon is explicitly banned. Mega Agron is on the game. Mawile is too small. Medicham, oh fuck yeah, Medicham is core meta all the way. I see this thing maybe uh, two times a set, maybe three. Ton of great moves, super bulky. Uh, you know, I think Medicham should honestly be nerfed somehow, someday. Maybe the Trevant Edition, I think, actually kind of qualifies for that. Because uh, definitely. It's definitely knocking Medicham down a bit. Alright, Manetric. Um, as far as wild chargers go, Manetric is not one of the best ones. It has double debuff moves, which means it's an amazing closer, but other than that, um, pretty, very, very frail. 
Wait, actually, magic. Wait. Yeah, Manetric is Mega Manetric is available in Great Lake. I completely forgot Mega Manetric was a thing that existed, but Mega Manetric is uh, even worse just because it's you know it's kind of like uh, even glassier. Plusle, Plusle. Uh, I think it's the same move as Mayan, but it's frailer, but not by much. So like they both they're both gonna go in spicy. Mayan actually has pretty good bulk. Um, I think it's kind of just the bulkier Alola Raichu without Volt Switch, Spark instead, and um, no Wild Charge. <laughs> so I guess it's not really like that. Like him either, but yeah, these these two have no good moves, so I'm gonna pull them together. Now, yeah, Plusle and Mine are definitely pretty good choices. Roselia, I think, is a Poison Jab like Dazzling Gleam and Grass Knot, which isn't that bad. It's being spicy for sure, but. Roselia is definitely way better than- I mean, Roserade is definitely way better than Roselia. But, Roserade isn't meta either. We'll get to Roserade soon. Um, no. Um, Swalot. Swalot is, uh, has a pretty good fun moveset. It's decent bulk. Infestation, uh, Ice Beam, and Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I'd say it's good spice. Carfana is way too small. Sharpedo is actually a pretty fun Great League pick just because Shadow, Waterfall, Shreds do everything. It gets being spicy, you know, if Shield support, it can be absolutely devastating. Uh, Whalmer and Whalord, I think, have pretty much the same movesets and stats. They both get to be in extremely spicy. Ah, uh, just regularly spicy, I'd say. Whalord itself is. Alright. About the same level. Water gun, body slam, heavy slam, that kind of stuff. Numel is way too small, but it has, like, not the bad bulk. I don't like stomping bulldoze, so I wouldn't count on it. Camera up has a slightly worse move set, um, but better stats, so it's slightly better than Numel. I think Mega Camera Up is in the game yet. And Torkoal. Oh man, I wish this thing got Weather Ball Fire. That'd be so much fun, but I believe it's just in the spicy rank. We just don't see very much because it's uh, exclusive to um, India and Indonesia, right? Uh, it's got really good bulk, Ember, Fire Blast, Solar Beam. Yeah, that's, that's its problem pretty much. It only has nukes. If it had like a bait move like Weather Ball, I bet it'd be really good. Grumpig has literally nothing going on with it. It's one of the most bland psychic Pokemon possible. Ugh, poor guy. Alright, Spinda. Spinda is quite bulky and has a very spammy, spammy moveset with Icy Wind and Psycho Cut. So, it gets to be in the spicy tier. It's another one of those Pokemon that is pretty fun, but just... Yeah. Now, Trepinch actually comes pretty close to the um, Great League Cap. I think it just used like a better ground type move than fucking dig. Like if it had earthquake or something, I'd probably put it in extremely spicy. Um, but for now, it just goes in not very good. It does def it definitely does a lot of damage though, especially for turn. And Vibrava has actually lower a lower CP, has slightly better stats, but there's so many better Dragon Breathers in that Dragon Breathers, I guess. <laughs> They're both about in the same tier. If you want to use a Dragon Ground type, there is no reason not to use Flygon, who is definitely not meta, but spicy and still very fun. I would, I would say Flygon has a pretty good move set. Yeah, it's got like Earth Power, Dragon Claw, Mud Shot, other stuff. You know, I don't know what's wrong, Cactar. It's not that good, but it has an amazing move set. I think it might be too frail. Um, Extremely spicy for sure. It's got Poison Jab, Dynamic Punch, Payback. A lot of good options there with uh, an amazing fast move and some pretty good charge moves as well. Alright, now Altaria. You all know where Altaria is going. It's going straight to fucking core meta. This thing is everywhere in Great League. It's because pretty good typing, amazing bulk, and pretty good moves. Dragon Breath is great. Mega Altaria is frailer, so it's pretty much and anti-dragon formats where it's allowed, but other than that, it has nothing significant going on. 
Uh, I can be in kind of meta where it showed up in Great League. Uh, Zangoose. Uh, Zangoose, my lad. I believe Zangoose is spicy, but... It kind of is a similar thing to Lickitung, where it's a normal type with ghost coverage. Oh, it's got Night Slash and Close Combat too. Those are awesome moves. And right next to it is its rival, Seviper. I I love Seviper. I think if you've seen a couple of my Seviper videos, you all will know that it has Poison Jab, Poison Fang, Crunch, all amazing moves. Especially after that Crunch buff. Lunato and Solrock go in the... Uh, Extremely spicy? Nah, nah, they just go in straight spicy. They have pretty much the same moves. They have like one or two different charge moves, and but they have identical stats, so they are, for all intents and purposes, almost the exact same Pokemon. Oh fuck, I don't mean to put it there. There we go, that's more like it. Alright, Barboach, too small. Wishgash is absolutely meta, for sure. Wishgash... Um, I do love Wishgash. It is a pretty fun Mud Boy because it, it's a Mud Boy that beats the shit out of Altaria because usually it's the other way around, but you know, Altaria doesn't want to get blizzarded. Crawdaunt. I'm going to put this bad boy in spicy. Uh, really, it has time to shine in Commander, not Commander, a Prismatic Cup, but that has been for months now. Pretty fun moveset, though, I will say. Snarl, Crab Hammer, all that stuff. And, um, Night Slush, too. Great, played all. A lot of better mod slappers than it, but it has good bulk, decent charge moves. It can be in spicy. Someone can make this thing work. Lilip, yeah. I'm gonna put Lilip with its evolution, Cray Dilly, in spicy. I actually just finished building one. If you uh, check my Twitter, you probably have seen that. And, yeah, I'm gonna have to try it out someday. This is like a sub, maybe like a hundred sub special. Yeah, that'd be a fun idea. So anyway, these two are both very similar. They both have Bullet Seed and Infestation, but Bullet Seed Lilip is extremely rare. The main difference is that Cray Dilly has Stone Edge, but Lilip has um, Ancient Power, which is generally worse, but can also be a bit spammier. Yeah, Ancient Power is a bad move, <laughs> but it can't be spam. All right. Anorith, uh, does a fuck ton of damage, but other than that, not very good. Um, I, I actually, I want a pretty good PvP IV, some more Rocket Grunt, I'm tempted to power it up for the memes. Uh, Anorith is an extremely spicy, because it actually does have a lot of good moves, it's just, whew, very frail. Very, very frail and bad defensive typing as well. I don't think there's any reason to try to justify using a Magikarp clone. Milotic has uh, Dragon Tail, and it's pretty bulky, so that's a lot of fun. I'd say it's in spicy, for sure. Um, cast form. Oh, fuck yeah, the cast forms are amazing. I don't see them too often, but they are absolutely part of the meta in Great League, because uh, you're kind of just clicking Weather Ball all the time, and occasionally the coverage move. Granny Cast Storm, you know, it's got Weather Ball, it's got Thunder. I, I like Granny Cast Storm as a lead sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I'm seeing too many uh, Rock types and Brown types and Azumarill leads, you know. Bust out Granny Cast Storm, show him who's boss. Snowy Cast Storm. Uh, <laughs> Ice is amazing typing, like, offensively, but Snowy Cast Storm definitely could use a coverage move or something. And finally, Sunny Cast Storm. I do like Sunny Cast Form. Um, Weather Ball Fire and. Yeah, Grass and Fire go great together. So, absolutely, they belong together. And Kecleon is not released yet. I hope, like, before they release Kecleon, they just give it Shadow Claw because then it'd be actually quite fun. Um, but alas, right now it's just gonna kinda suck whenever it comes out. Banette is spicy for sure. I'm tempted to call it worse Haunter, but it also has better coverage options than Haunter and Gengar. Like Thunderbolt, I think, and Dazzling Gleam, and those are pretty fun. can catch Dark types off guard. I've done that before. Mega Banette's not in the game yet. Duskull is way too small. Dusclops is kind of meta. 
I rarely see it, but it absolutely is an amazing choice, especially after Community Day. I'm building one uh, with really high height. Really good PvP IVs. I think I got a rank 3 recently, but unfortunately uh, it does not, is not purified, so I can't bait return with it, which is a shame. Tropius is a... Uh, Hmm. Not really a big impact on the meta anymore. I think it got nerfed since its release. But it's definitely not spicy at all. And <laughs> it's funny because it's one of the few Pokemon in Great League that can run either fast, has like a couple, it has multiple fast moves, is what I'm trying to say, that are both pretty good. They can be used. And that, that makes it kind of fun. It's like you can, you, you, you want to run like this or that. Um, Chimeco is kind of just the worst Hypno. I would put it in extremely spicy because it's frail, but is extra sensory, which charges pretty fast. And Energy Ball and Shadow Ball, I'm being too harsh on this guy. He can be up to spicy. Alright, Absol. Absol is pretty cool, but unfortunately, um, he should really get like a bait loop or something like Night Slash. Even that would help him a ton, but right now he's getting kind of extremely spicy because even with Psycho Cut, he still only has nukes, which aren't really that helpful. And he kind of gets fast moved down most of the time because of that. Mega Absol's pretty much in the same camp. Actually, it's, it's kind of funny. At the time this video's uh, recording, Mega Absol pretty much just came out. It came out yesterday, so that's, that's fun. I'm trying to keep this video up to date, so... Yeah, you'll definitely be seeing me try to prevent from being dead as well. Why not? It's way too small. Storm way too small. Glalie is definitely underrated, I would say. It's kind of like a bulkier frost last that doesn't die to ghosts and darks. Uh, I think it has a slightly better fast move option, too. It's pretty similar, so I'm not really going to go in depth with it. Um. Mega Glalie is not in the game, obviously, Sphelia is too small. C is it? Is this one Celio or Sphelio? I think it's Celio. Yeah, Celio. I'm gonna put in kind of meta. Um, Powder Snow, Body Slam, or Aurora Beam. It's only got good bulk. I think it, it only got Ice Beam or something, you know? Wall Rain has worse uh, moves, but yeah, we're just gonna put in Spicy because of that. Uh, Clamp Pearl has amazing bulk and pretty decent moves, so it gets to be up in spicy for sure. I think it has Water Gun, a uh, Body Slam, and Ice Beam. Those are all great, especially on bulky water. Huntail and Gorbis, however, have way worse moves. They are both going extremely spicy. Just garbage like Water Pulse and Draining Kiss. Uh, actually, they both go in just bad. Not, not much hope for him. <laughs> Relic Camp. Probably one of the better uh, ro uh, water gun and water rock types. So it gets just being really spicy. Because it's actually by the bulkiest of all of them. Better Omnite, basically. Love this success. Shield Gone is actually pretty fun. It's comparable to Dragonair in that it is a dragon type that's kind of bulky with dragon breath and a spammy dragon move. The difference here is that he is a flamethrower, which is pretty fun coverage. You can catch the eels off guard. Not really. I think most people know it is flamethrower, but it's still fun. It's a dragon that can threaten fire types. How often you see those? Um, Salamence. Salamence would be comparable to Dragon Knight, I would say, if only it had a Shadow Claw, but it doesn't, so it goes extremely spicy. The best bet is getting a Shadow and hoping to Dragon Tail things down. Velda and Meta Metank both suck the awful fast moves. Meta Gross, however, has amazing charge moves and fast moves. If you play Master League, you already know what they are, but if you don't, um, Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, and Earthquake, maybe Psychic. Meteor Mash is an amazing move with all the fairies running around in Great League. I would say that it is totally worth using. 
if you have the team for it. Reggie Rock is definitely spicy. Um, it's kind of got that thing going on where, yeah, it is good, but other Pokemon classes it, yada, yada, yada. Reggie Steel kind of just beats all other Reggie Steel to punch. Except Reg Ice is probably a bit better than Reggie Rock <laughs> because Blizzard and Earthquake is an amazing combination. You love to see it. Mm. Reggie Steel. It's not core meta anymore, but with Trevenant returning and it being a great partner, I would say that it's back to being meta. Good for Registeel. Latias is spicy. It's charm, it's dragon type with charm, which I guess is something pretty good. The thing like people just use Latias and Latios, like, you know. It's like one of those Pokemon I see all the time, the start of Go Battle League, because, you know, a lot of earlier trainers have it, like people just starting playing Pokemon Go, haven't played it in a while, kind of just have it sitting around as a research award, but Latios, actually, Latios shouldn't be this high. Latios, on the other hand, does get to be this high because it has Dragon Claw and Dragon Breath, you know, which are a really good combination, we, we discussed that earlier. Kyogre is too big, but I think Kyogre and Great League. Kyogre would be pretty, pretty fun in Great League. Groudon would just be war stickers be. Rayquaza actually is available in Great League, but it's not very good. It's because it has some pretty mediocre charge moves like Air, Aerial Ace. Fucking seriously. Alright, Jirachi. Jirachi is solid spice for sure. Um, amazing defensive typing. Doom Desire is awesome, and Confusion, too, to help top it all off. I would say Jirachi is, is pretty good. The, I don't think... Yeah, these two suck, no doubt about it. But Deox Attack is really... It's a decent closer. So I was going to say it's really good. That's not quite true. But here's the thing, with Deox Attack... If you can get to a Psycho Boost at the end of the game before the opponent has gotten anything else, you've pretty much won. That will destroy anything. Almost anything. You know, obviously Dark Types and shit, that's not going to kill. But it will destroy a lot. The Ox Defense is absolutely meta. I, I don't know about Core Meta, but yeah, kind of meta. No, no, meta for sure. Um, Rock Slide and Thunderbolt are great moves, and it's got Counter too. You love to see it. All right, um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I guess we got all Sinnoh to cover. It's actually, it's actually kind of where my job gets a little easier because, um, yeah, a lot of stuff here hasn't been released yet. So Turtwig is in probably, like, bad because it's kind of like Bulbasaur where it's a really bulky starter. Grovile is actually probably one of the better Razor Leafers because his Body Slam and Razor Leaf and Body Slam is spammable, you all know that. Torterra is spicy alongside Grovile for different reasons. It has Body, uh, instead of Body Slam, it is Sand Tomb and Stone Edge, which go pretty good with Razor Leaf. Now, it does also Frenzy Plant, which is a good move, but because it's a Razor Leafer, it doesn't really want to wait for Frenzy Plant, you know, instead just whittle things down off Razor Leaf. Uh, Chimchar, way too small. Onferno has really shitty moves. Um, but also Ember, I think, is a like one good move. So it can be in bad. Fine, why the hell not? Infernape, you know, I really wanted to put this guy higher because I like personal bias. I guess I do love Infernape, but he's just going to be in spicy. Um, Fire Spin is not that bad a move, but he's generally just forced Blaziken. Uh, but Blast Burn and Close Combat are two amazing moves that go together really well. So I can't say he's bad or anything like that. I kind of just wish he got Thunder Punch or something. That would be dope as fuck. Anyway, Prin Plup is, uh, is it the Great League Cap. It has Bubble Beam, which is always a fun a fun thing to see. You can mean spicy. And guess what else is in spicy? Empoleon, because Water and Steel is an amazing offensive typing. You know, I got... 
um, hydro cannon and a drill peck to get those grasses and fighters. I don't want to put in kind of it because it's way it's too rare for that. It feels weird saying that I'm pulling on this meta in Great League, but it's definitely not. So yeah, it can be in spicy for sure, but it's definitely an amazing spice pick. These two are way too weak. Staravia, I think, approaches Great League cap, so it can be in just bad. Yeah, way too weak. Staraptor nukes everything in Great League with a uh, close combat and Brave Bird, but you know, it's kind of like a Deox attack thing where they have shields, it doesn't work, so. It's gonna be in spicy. It's very, very situational, but if you can get the shield situation in your favor, then Staraptor is a pretty good Pokemon. Bidoof, obviously. We all love Bidoof, don't we? But he's too weak. Beat Barrel, I think his Body Slam and Waterfall and Surf, which are good moves. It can be in spicy. I know in Retro Cup this thing is definitely meta, but in Open Great League kind of falls on a couple other things. Cricket Top's too small, like yeah, Cricket Tune. Shit stats, shit typing, at least it's kind of spammy, so it can be not very good, I suppose. Alright, Shinx. Too small. Luxio and Luxor are kind of just mediocre electric types. I want to think way too far ahead into the future, but Luxio. Lux Luxray should be pretty good in Great League once it gets Psychic Fangs, which are basically just going to be Poison Fang, but Psychic type. But right now it's just extremely spicy. Badoo, too small. Rosa Raid, absolutely spicy pick, but very good. Definitely better than Rosa Raid from Roselia. Fucking Roselia! It's better than that from earlier because. You know, fire and grass, amazing combination, we've established that already. Weather ball fire and leaf storm, really good. Rampardos is probably one of the worst um, smackdowners, uh, it's not very good. If you want a smackdowner, you've got a couple better options like uh, the Pokemon coming up right now, Basiodon, this fucker. You know, every time you see a opponent set up fast, you know, I kind of just roll your eyes and they go, come on, this fucker again, unless you're running a Mud Boy or g Fist Bleed. Yeah, this thing pretty much walls everything that's not super effective against it, because it is one of the highest stat products in all of Great League, I believe. Amazing stuff. Now, as for the Warmer Dams, uh, I think the non steel ones go in extremely spicy because they don't have quite as much bulk and not as good defensive typing. But Bug and Steel is an amazing typing. So, Steel Warmadam is gonna go all the way up in Spicy. Like, you could use this thing in a Great League team and see some pretty good success. If, uh, if you built your team around it, of course, you can't just throw stuff like that in there. Mothim is kind of like, it's pretty much almost identical to, what's this fucker's name again? Beautifly. So, yeah, same tier list placement. Too small. Vespiquen, I do like this bug. It is a pretty bulky bug type. Pretty fun move set coverage. It's definitely not meta, but I would, I would use this thing on a serious Great League team with proper team building, of course. Pachirisu is probably meta now. Yeah, it's meta. It beats most of meta. A lot of it. Because, you know, I don't see a whole lot of it because, well, it's Pachirisu. It's a regional up in Canada. And Russia, and maybe a couple other places I've got to mention. Alaska, yeah, that's right. Boltzol is Waterfall and Aqua Jet, which is a pretty good combo. Everything else about it kind of sucks ass, so it gets to be extremely spicy because that one little thing it's got going on, which is a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Waterfall and Aqua Jet, great combination. Yeah. Uh, Overcast Sherem is just seeming extremely spicy because there's not really good reason to use over regular Sherem, who itself is... You know, I think I'm being too harsh in both Cherim and Roserade. I think they're both, uh, no, Cherim just kind of paces Roserade. It is probably meta. It's a grass type that beats steels. That isn't Meganium. <laughs> it's spammier too, so that's definitely a plus for Cherim. 
extra losses are too small. Now, the, the Slug Boys, you all know how much I love the Slug Boys. I've used them quite a bit, and they are very bulky Mug Boys, and probably the best user of Mud Slap in the game. You know, that Body Slam really helps. I'm just gonna expand this for like one second. Nope, not this part. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now it's a little easier to see all this stuff. Amba Palm is nothing going for it. It sucks ass. Drift Loon is uh, kind of just the worst Drift Loon, but you can like run Balloon Hole with it. I know someone who has ran Balloon Hole before. Drift Loon is, uh, it's meta now, I think. At least kind of meta. Um... Icy Wind, Shadow Ball, Hex, you know, I was running that in Ultra League for a while, but it's good to see it has come down to Great League last year, and kind of hung out ever since. Lopany, Mega Lopany, they all, they all suck ass. Um, it's like Pound and Low Kick, which makes me want to vomit. Miss Magius, um, I think it's better than Mischievous. Better moveset anyway, but it's also frailer. Haunch Crow, on the other hand, I do, I do love Haunch Crow. It's like a fucking freight train. But, and unlike Staraptor, it can actually kind of work even with shields up because of foul play. Any other is not really any benefit. Um, there's not really any punishment to missing a foul play. So, you know, if you don't shield a foul play, if they shield foul play, I mean. You're not debuffed. Perugly is a uh... one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, it's just an extremely spicy. You know, if you want a normal type that has anti-ghost coverage, we just gone over like a bajillion of those that do that way better. Chingling and Stunky are too small. Scun tank. Ooh, it is spicy, but. It... Yeah, it's great. It's got Poison Jab, Crunch, Flamethrower, a Spice Mon that really works in open, I would say. Bronzor is way too small, you know. When, when he's busy, when he's, uh, you let him dominate a little cup every now and then, but outside of that, he's kind of bad. And Bronzong, though, Bronzong definitely makes up for it. Bronzong is spicy. It's very bulky, very underrated. Confusion, um... Payback and Bulldoze hit a lot of stuff. Bonsly is pretty much just Sudowoodoo. Where did I put Sudowoodoo? Because this bad boy has pretty much the same stats as Sudowoodoo. Yeah, spicy. That checks out. I got a hunt of an egg hatch last year. I should probably build that. For shits and giggles. Just do baby do small. And Shatot. It's pretty bad moves. I don't think you're risking out much if you don't live where you can catch Shadot, but I do love Shadot's design though, I think that looks pretty cool, but yeah. Spirit Tomb is pretty much just worth Sableye. Now if I ever get to an Ultra League tier list where you know I feel really I you know, really want to do this all again, Spirit Tomb is will be definitely better than Sableye there because, well, it's um it actually comes kind of close to the Ultra League cap, so it can threaten Deox. Gibble is just kind of bad. It's not horrible because it actually does come a little bit closer to Great League cap and has Body Slam and Mud Shot, and you all know how good that combo is. Gabite and Garchomp go pretty much the same spot, but for different reasons because Gabite has Mud Shot and Twister and Flamethrower, which are fast spam moves, and Garchomp has uh, an awesome mud shot, but I think it goes to Sand Tomb or Earth Power and Outrage instead. Both those moves are great. Um, I think it just depends on what you're trying to counter with them. Personally, I think Gabite is better in Great League anyway. Munchlax. I think Munchlax, Munchlax <laughs> used to be used for pretty much the same purpose Licked Tongue is now. Except Lickitung is way better. So Munchlax is just kind of better. Not spicy, but still very good. We all lose too small. Lucario 
has amazing coverage. You know, fighting in Ghost is unresisted. Actually, it's funny. I say that it used to be unresisted until like that video came out a couple of days ago of the new normal and ghost type uh, Hisuian, I think it's pronounced, Hisuian Zoroark. It's gonna be fun when it comes out in the Pokemon Go. I'm looking forward to that. Not in the game yet. Hippopotas is too small. Hippowdon, you know, it's another Fang user, but this time it is Weather Ball Rock and Body Slam. So you can make this thing work. It's got pretty good bulk, too. But you should probably just stick to Master League instead. Drapion or Drapion? Drapion, I think. That is going into the spicy tier. It's a lot of stuff. Pretty fun safe swap. Pretty similar situation to uh, Skunk Tank, I would say. Uh, Toxic Croak. I think Toxic Croak is uh, kind of meta. I mean, I've seen it quite a bit. It's uh, probably the best poison fighting type. I think it's the second poison fighting type, one of the only ones. But yes, it's quite good. Carnivine. <laughs> oh, Carnivine. It's um, well, similar to all these other bullet seed grass types. It's a little bit slower on the draw. You know, it's got Power Whip instead of Leaf Blade. But it's got better typing than Shift Tree too. It doesn't instantly die to counter, so that's a plus. It's just slower, subtly worse, I guess. Damn, I completely forget what shit Luminion has. It's so forgettable. Uh, I think it's just an extremely spicy. So Judge might judge might affect. I've never seen anyone even use the word Luminion until I made this video for Pokemon Go. Man, Tyke. Uh, Mantine is just the worst Mantine, but it comes close to the cap, so fuck it. Spicy. Yeah, make this thing work at your own risk. Snowbird is, uh, just the worst Obama Snow. If you want to run Yeti Hole, I guess that's that's an option for you, I suppose. It's, it's always there. Obama Snow is <laughs> it's a staple of the Great League meta. I see this guy all the time, even after. Um, even after the Weather Ball nerf, it's still st kicking around. Good for him. Mega Bomb of Snow is, uh, slightly worse, I believe. This thing kind of meta. Alright. Weavile is better than Sneasel, for abs, for sure. Because... It has better moves. It's Avalanche, which is one of the best moves in the game, straight up. It's not meta though, but this thing can farm down Altaria and have two charge moves at the end, so it is absolute or at least close to two charge moves. Don't don't quote me on that, but it is still probably one of the better ice types in Pokemon Go. Magnezone is another seriously underrated spice mon. Um, with a good bait, and the problem of course is one of those Pokemon that depends on baiting, but if you get it right, a wild charge can do so much damage. Of course, there's also an issue that you can't really swap it in because, you know, a lot of teams have that G-Fisk, and if you bring in a Magnezone and they bring in G-Fisk, you all know what's going to happen. Licky Licky, straight up forced lick a tongue. It does have a Shadow Ball, which I guess is a plus. And you could get away with using this thing. I think double licky is a strat. So yeah, if you wanna give that a shot. Rhyperior is the best uh, member of this Rye family, I guess. But it's still extremely spicy because how frail it is and it takes way too long to reach Rock Wrecker and by Great League standards. You know, in Master League everything can be slow, but in Great League gotta be really fast. Tang Growth. Better than Tangle, I believe. Better bulk. Um, spicy, I would say. Yeah, you could you could use that. The thing that's fun about Tangrowth is that it has rock slide to nail flying types with, so flying types aren't necessarily a counter. And Electivire, it's very rare, but it has been used as a safe swap in Great League because of its Thunder Punch and Bolt Switch capabilities. Not Bolt Switch. Um, I wish it had Bolt Switch. Damn, that should have been a CD. But no, just, um... Ice Punch and Wild Charge. 
I do wish, like, you know, I got a full switch, but they had to be like, give me like a bow, Magmortar, and Electivire switch move type. Isn't that so fucking quirky? Anyway, Magmar itself, Magmortar, fuck. <laughs> Magmortar is bad. Uh, Karate Chop, I think, is it's, is then like, Flamethrower and stuff, but it's so frail. It gets to be not very good. I'm feeling generous. That deer looks too small. Public Kiss is pretty much a Gardevoir. Shadow Gardevoir, maybe. It's a very frail charm, but it gets the job done very well. Yan Mega is a pretty decent anti fighter, but there are better options. You could maybe. Maybe. It's very spicy, I will say that. But it's better than Yanma. Which is a better Yanma overall, but it's a little bit frailer. Leafeon is, uh, I've used Leafeon once, it was alright, slightly worse than Sceptile or Shift Tree, of course. Yeah, if, if you're on like an all-EV team, you could do that. Now, an all-EV team sounds like a fun gimmick, I should try that. Glaceon sucks ass, it's way too frail. Now, here's the thing, they could have made Glaceon good, like, they had a chance in, the, like, the EBCD again, but they fucked it up by giving it Water Pulse. Like, are they trying to make a Master League Dugong or something? Because they, uh, they failed. Anyway, Glide Score is definitely not part of the Great League meta. That's a great Spice Mon. Earthquakes really hurt in, you know, Night Slash for spam. I'll recommend it. Mammo Swine, way, way too frail. Doesn't really hit hard enough to make up for it. But if you do get an avalanche through before being farmed down by basically any fast move, then yeah, it's probably gonna hurt a lot. Warion Z is another one of those Pokemon that really wants shields to be down, but if shields are down, it fuck shit up. It can be in spicy, probably the best representation. Any member of the Porygon family has received up to this point. Gallade is another fun safe swap. It's not as good as Electivire, but you can make this thing work in Great League for sure. Mega Gallade is not in the game. Propo Pass is slightly worse. No, um, Bastiodon. It's not meta at all. It's another Spice Mon. Fun thing is about Pro Pass, it's another one of those Pokemon that has two good fast moves, you know, it can either be a rock thrower like Bastiodon, or you can opt for that spicy spark to trip up water types who think they know what they're doing. Now, even after the CD, Dusk Noir is still not that good. Um, yeah, I know, it only has Hex, it doesn't have moves that charge very fast. Uh, they should have given, like, Fire Punch or something for a CD. That would have been fun. Yeah, you know what it really needs? What it really needs? It needs, like, fucking, uh, Fighting Punch. That's not a move, but you get the idea. It needs, like, something spammy and good. For us last, it's been a while since we've had a meta Pokemon here. Um, kind of meta. This guy's an open. There's a lot that beats it, but it can be used as swap, and if you line it up right, it can definitely do a lot of damage. Especially for energy lead, Frost Lass is horrifying for energy lead. Uh, none of the Rotoms are available except for Rotom Wash, who is pretty much just a worse lantern. Very I similar moves. But yeah, it's spicy, you could use that. That's fine. Um Uxie is a uh, spicy mon. It's very bulky, very, very bulky. Um, if I only had a better, you know, if I only had a move that was faster than Swift, it'd probably be pretty good. But Mesprit and Azelf also have that problem, and they are both very frail. So they are both not very good in Great League. These two aren't in the game yet, or at least in PvP. Let me zoom back in a little bit. Let's make things easier for you guys all see. Heat Ran not available. Reggie Gigas not available. Giratina not available. But man, imagine if it was. 
Cresselia is, um, hmm. Cresselia is actually probably, yeah, it's just meta. Very, yeah, very bulky. I can repeat myself a lot here. It's bulky psychic. I can also threaten dark types because of Moonblast spam. And threaten mud boys because of grass knot. It's a very good Pokemon. Um, but there's only one chance to get it. But so if you didn't get it, you gotta really hope someone is generous enough to trade it to you. These are not a game yet, but it looks like Fiona will be interesting when it comes out. Chains on the game, and finally Arceus. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me for part two of the incredibly massive Great League tier list. I think what's fun about this series is that. We're just seeing how really big Great League can be. Um, you know, you would barely see this kind of crazy diversity in Ultra League or Master League or even some Sylph metas, so it's honestly pretty impressive just how much they managed to do here. So